Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if it's your first time here. If you've been here before, make sure you hit the like button. Work-life balance. It's a question that is constant that I get all the time. People asking me or my wife, Jackie, you know, how do you balance all the stuff that you guys are doing professionally with the things that you got going on at home personally? So we have four beautiful children and they range from ages six to 14 and they have their own schedules that stack on top of the 12 properties, the gym, the, all the different things that we got going on underneath our plate, the, uh, the clients working with them to the 50 instructors that we work with across the, the valley and the different brands. So how do you do it? How do you, you know, take those two things and put it together and make it something that hopefully is successful within your family life or your personal life, but also continue to drive the business professionally? And, you know, I think, honestly, a lot of it is you, you just do it, but, you know, I'm gonna really break down uh, the, the ways I really think about it and how I've been able to structure it over the years. And maybe it's a framework that works for you and taking some of these nuggets and, 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 and plugging them into uh, balancing the professional and the personal. So if I take it into, three kind of categories. The first thing is you gotta understand what is your responsibility. And uh, having a family and having kids is I, it's something that I've always wanted. And you don't have to have that, that want, but that's something that's been very important to me and, and for me and my wife. And so, you know, that's been important, but also what's been important is how can I serve? How can I be of service to the different people that we partner with, that we work with, our team members, our clients, and so I understand what those responsibilities are and then I try to split those things up based on that. But I have to set the intention first. What is the intention of, of how I'm gonna run my business? It does make a difference in how, you know, there's certain partnerships and some things that we haven't done because of the, the family. And those are, you know, might be sacrifices. But what I've learned is that my family life has provided my balance because that need and that responsibility of wanting to have those, those things with those moments with my kids during their biggest moments, the, um, the be home for dinner is something that's been important to me. So I have structured my professional life around those scenarios and there's certain things that I'm flexible with and it's kind of what floats up to the top that you know, I take and then there's certain things that are hard cutoffs for me that under you know very little circumstances if I'm gonna to switch to a different uh, setup. So understanding that responsibility is important. And kind of give a story to that. I remember when we first moved out to Northern California and at the time we, we just, uh, we haven't even had kids yet. And me and my wife are newly married. I'm working in this luxury resort. And you know, I wanna make a great impression. I want to really develop and and build something special with the, the members and the hotel guests. And, and I just caught myself working seven days a week, coming in seven days and, and doing work, doing classes, doing you know, whatever stuff needed to be done. And eventually my wife kind of gave me the look and was like, is this gonna be a trend? And, you know, and I had to think about it as like, you know, do I want uh, that expectation to be set where I'm working every day because she was right. You know, I think, you know, everybody's balance is different and you have to understand what that is. And I pretty go, I go hard in the paint in terms of how much I work. But I think the thing that I've learned is that, you know, having a little bit of separation, uh, actually keeps the fire burning for the work that you do and the, the passion is, that you have. So that is kind of one setup within the responsibility. Another setup is even the living distance to where you work, that can also be a, a responsibility. You know, some people, you know, it, it makes the most sense to be as close as they can to work. Obviously there is some financial dynamics to that depending on where, what type of areas, because usually areas that are close to luxury resorts are also expensive areas to live. So you have to take that into account, but you gotta understand what you get with that. You get your time back, which is something you can't get back. Um, and then you also, um, 
you know, the closer you are, you can pop in and out, you can do half days, make it easier, you can go home, you can have, you know, maybe from a nutrition standpoint, it might be beneficial to be closer. Um, if there's a quick game or something, if, you, if there's a family kid dynamic and they, they have something that you could pop over to their school, pop over to their event and be able to kind of come back to work. So there's some flexibility within that, that's kind of nice. What we found is that we've, we've experimented and uh, lived in Calcic a little bit, but we've mainly been living um, about 20 minutes away from where we do most of our work, 20 to 25 minutes away. And I've found that that's the best for me. And what, the reason that's the best for me is the responsibility of switching mindsets. That 20 to 30 minutes gives my mindset as I drive to work it allows me to visualize my day, which I think is important. It allows me to kind of think about the mindset of the things I want to accomplish that day. And it puts um, those, those, those things of, um, you know, having your game face in a way, you know, because, you know, you, when, when somebody walks in the door, I want to be excited. I want to be uh, energized in that. And I want to be in the right mindset. And so that drive allows me to do that. It also allows me to do the same thing when I go, home and allows me to switch to dad brain and switch to father brain and turn off CEO brain. And I say that I don't continue to think about things as I'm driving home, but it, there is a, like a dimming light that switches from CEO to family man as I cross over um, and get closer and closer to home. And, you know, something that I've learned and I thought was important that I, I've heard once uh, from an interview that Oprah was doing and and I've kind of made it a mantra of things that I do when, when I see my kids. You know, when the same way a guest who walks into our space, my first time meeting them, you know, I try to bring up the presence, own that room and, and be excited. Hi, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Come on in and be excited to see them. And I want to have is very important to me, no matter how long of a day I've had. You know, I get up early, I'm, I'm in the, the office sometimes, at the gym at 6 a.m., even earlier, and you know, I might not get home until four, five, uh, so it's sometimes 12 plus hour days, and I get home, the first time I see my kids, I bring the energy up. I'm so excited to see them, literally I am, but it's also, I, I, I grab the extra energy, little drops that I have left to show them that to show them that I'm excited to see them. I show them that I, I tell them that I miss them. And I think those are kind of important concepts of, of, you know, having that separation allows me to do that. Another thing that happens is, you know, when you're working with a lot of people, you get known in a certain area. Um, and I don't like the word celebrity, but the, you definitely become, people know you when you, in a professional setting, when you do a good job and, and you get recommended. So your name becomes more relevant. And so it's, I like to be able to switch those two brains on and off. And for what I found is having that separation, living in a town that's a little bit further away, um, but not so far, far away that I like lose, you know, a couple hours a day driving. Um, it's helpful because it allows me to go to the grocery store on closer to my house. Nobody really knows who I am. Um, and over there, I'm known as Caleb's father, Isabella's uh, dad, you know, Elijah, Dominic, uh, so on. I'm known as their father over there. I'm known as uh, Jackie's uh, husband. So uh, that is kind of, that's refreshing to me. I kind of like that. I like being not known as my first name and known as their counterpart uh, and their Robin. So that's the responsibility. Now the structure, now how do I do it? I think this is like the meat of, you know, how do you make it? This is the recipe. This is the recipe that works for me. You know, it, it's, it's adjusted a little bit over the years and it's adjusted as my kids' schedules have adjusted. You know, our, our work demands have adjusted. But I would say, big picture, our, my goal is I'd rather go earlier than to go later. So generally, what, I wanna be home for dinner. And I make dinner, um, you know, one of the responsibilities that I have is I do most of the grocery shopping and I do most of the cooking, which is something that's kind of meditative for me. Um, so when I get, um, what I decided is that I would rather get up a little bit earlier, get into work and be able to get home on a, and do half days if I need to, 
in a half day, even though it's a full day. For some people, it might be six to three, six to four, and then that way I can get home and get, uh, you know, move around and become the Uber driver for my kids when it comes to their different sports and, and things like that. Um, I also structure certain days where there's sometimes it makes sense for me to be later in at work, but I try to keep that consistent what days those are. And, you know, I have that communication with, with Jackie and, of what days those are that so that she knows you know where she's going to get the help and where um, she's not going to get the help in terms of me getting home at a, at a later time but that's rare we try to keep that to once once a week where I might work a little bit later but for the most part I'm trying to be done by five by four sometimes earlier and maybe even do my work from home you know with today's you know, ability to do certain, certain things from Zoom and FaceTime and, and, and do uh, sessions that way. I sometimes have scheduled some of those sessions if I can in the afternoon so that I can be home. And in those in-between times, I'm already there. I can interact with the family. Um, I can be of help uh, if Jackie needs to run around and do errands while some of the kids stay at the house. So that is the, the structure of that. I work six days a week also within that structure. So that's also a tricky thing, but I try to have at least three of those days be days that I'm done by three or four o'clock. Then the last thing, and it's almost the most important thing, is evaluate, you know, and how do you evaluate? Professionally, you evaluate by some of the obvious metrics, customer satisfaction, um, revenue, and, and are you moving your goals forward? So that reassess if I feel like I'm not giving enough time or I don't have the right structure to achieve that the the client status uh, you know getting the clients goals my goals um, and the revenue that we need to sustain the business grow the business then you know and that happens on a monthly by monthly period of me checking in on those matrices and making slight tweaks as as we go sometimes it can be week to week but for the most part uh, month to month, I kind of check on those matrices. Another way is at home, is checking on the matrix, check in with my wife, it's definitely check in with my kids. What's, what's, what's interesting is as you mature and your kids mature, uh, what's fun is in this kind of age where I'm in now, where they're able to communicate with me, I'm able to have conversations on a drive home, and I'll ask about quarterly checking in, like, am I spending enough time with you guys? Do you feel like uh, you're getting the support you need from myself or from from me and me and my wife. Or do you feel like we're working too much? Do you feel like you can ask us questions? And you know, uh, the beauty of having a daughter who's uh, is as a father is that you can build that bond. They're willing to communicate. At least my daughter is willing to communicate that, and she's given me given me some very thoughtful answers based off that. Um, I mean, I, I'll take, I'll take it to, you know, we were hiring a, a babysitter and I, I asked her, so like, you know, what's important for the babysitters that we're looking at to, to hire, what's important? Well, she's like, you know, this babysitter I liked a lot because she had things planned when she came. She had like a little itinerary and games and, and she wasn't on her phone. Um, you know, when she was with us and that was very, she's like, I really enjoyed that. And so like that thoughtfulness of like understanding, oh, maybe we should be, that should be a question or that should be something that we request so that the babysitter knows that, yeah, it's important that, you know, you have your phone next to you for communication, but that you're, you're engaging with our kids and you're giving them opportunities to engage with you through games and opportunities outdoors and stuff like that. So you can get that insightfulness within uh, your kids. And then some of it is your own clock. You know, do you feel guilty about it? You have to kind of understand, like, take yourself into your kids' own kids' brain when you were a kid. How did you feel about your parents' uh, lifestyle and the ability of how much they, they worked with you um, during, you know, their work-life balance? And I think you take that, you take your goals, you take it all, you, you mash it in, and you... You try to put together something that is impactful. And if it's really important to you, you, you either will find the job that allows you to do that. I've been blessed where I can, I can build a business that 
wraps around that schedule. It doesn't always work out well. And for many entrepreneurs, they understand this, that like uh, as a client of mine who's a restaurateur and is a, a phrase that I yeah, have adopted because when he told me that, you know, sometimes you, when the diaper's full, they come to you. And when you're the top person or one of the top people, you know, you have to deal with situations that become urgent, uh, sometimes last minute. And that can be impactful, but you can also build in a certain amount of flexibility within your schedule that might not be typical for the every, if you're working for somebody else. So uh, those things, the, the kind of responsibility, understanding, laying that out, the structure, like, how many, how many days a week, what does your timeline look like? You know, how you're gonna wrap around both schedules of the personal and professional, is there a way to do that? Are you set up um, to do that within the responsibility of location, things like that? And then the last thing is the check-in. The check-in is like just tuning, fine-tuning by checking in with uh, your family, checking in with your professional side, the metrics and the things that you need to do to be successful and seeing what things you need to tweak to have what you need on both sides. And just like anything, you're gonna have some days that you're winning and some days that you're losing, but I think it's taking those, those things that you do are really well and seeing how you continue that and enhance that. And then the times that you feel like you're losing, it's like taking that lesson and figuring out how can you present it better on the, the next day and the next week and the next month. So hopefully this was helpful and understanding like how we do that. I think at one point we'll do, I do something more in depth where I'll, I'll wrap Jackie into it, who, uh, who's also a volunteer firefighter along with being the CMO and, and having clients of her own and, and running, co-running this business and our family together. Uh, I think it would be interesting for us to kind of explain it from both sides of how we do that. But it's at the end of the day, you wake up and you just do it.